Rational Rows Browser. So let us concentrate on this browser only in this video. So this is the browser view. You can find this one that this is a logical view. We are having this use case view. We are having this component view, deployment view. So these are the views available. So also we have expanded them. So initially they will remain in the collapsed form. So if you expand this logical, this use case view, we are having this main, there is a fill order, receive order, ship order. So one diagram was getting drawn. So whatever the use cases we had, so use cases means nothing but the respective functionalities, that is the respective functions, whatever we are going to do. So they will be coming here. So if you go on adding some other, say order check, you are making another use case. So order check is there, then they will get listed here. So this is the use case view we are having. There is a logical view under this one, we are having this main. Under this logical view, we are going to draw our class diagrams. So this is a logical view. If you click on the main, then the respective, the respective uh, window will pop up. And in that particular window, you can draw the respective class diagrams. And these are the different classes, whatever you have drawn in the respective diagram. So here we have taken only this, this browser, only this browser one, adjacent to that, there will be the drawing window where the drawings can be made. So there we might have made say invoice class, we might have made the order class, so they are getting reflected here. Now we are having this component view, under this component if you click on this main, then the component view, the respective diagram, uh, diagram window will get open and then we can drag uh, different icons from the toolbar and you can draw the component diagram. And then we are having this deployment view where you can draw the process, you can processors rather, you can draw the nodes, you can have the respective nodes are there. So in this way you can draw the architectural diagram of the system. So this is the browser section and this browser section is having such a, such a very resourceful options are there. So let us go for some more detailing, okay. So using the browser, we can add model elements like your use case, actors, classes, components, diagrams, and etc. And view existing model elements, you can view the existing model elements, I've shown you that. What about the classes you are making there, they are getting listed in this respective browser window. View existing relationship between model elements, move model elements, rename them, and add a model element to a diagram, you can add some no, new model elements to the diagram. Attach a file or URL to an element, group elements into some packages and then access the detailed specifications of an element. So we can also add some uh, respective detailing about the specification of an element that can, can be also added here and open a diagram. You can click on a certain diagram, the diagram will get open in the respective diagram window. So these are the these are the options you are having here. So if you go for the use case view, if you go for the use case view, these are the respective contents. So these are the contents you are having, you can access them to draw the use case diagram. So, so these are the contents are there, you can pause the video, you can check them. So this, this is the list. In case of logical view, that means the class diagrams, for the class diagrams will be going for the logical view. So these are the list of uh, contents we are having, that is the classes, class diagrams, association, interfaces and so on. Next we are having this component view, which will be used for the component diagram. So here we are having this respective components, interfaces, component diagrams and packages. We are having this deployment view, processes, processors, connectors, devices and deployment diagram. So in this way, these are the different views that are available on the browsers and these are the respective contents that are available. So try to explore the software and in our case study number one on ATM transaction, we have given the demonstration how to use this particular browser window in our drawing, you know, in our UML making uh, process. So you can watch those videos also. You can see the case study on the ATM transactions for the more detailing. Thanks for watching this video.